Hello, everyone, and welcome here to Las Vegas for the running of the Vegas 450, the 29th race of the Energizer NRL Cup Series season. And uh, this is the race where we find out who's going to advance on to the round of 12 in the chase and who's not going to. So, yeah, this is uh, go time for people on the bubble. If they want to still contend for the championship. So, uh, you got so uh, yeah, it's gonna be 60 laps around this mile and a half track. Now we'll go over your top five here. Actually, I'll go over most of your uh, chasers. Um, Dale Campbell, one of the people on the ball right now, he can make it in on points. It's gonna be uh, a bit challenging for the 46. He is starting in the pole position, so that's good for Campbell. And next to him, Jay Darson, who's only two points behind. Um. Only two points behind Josh, um, Jermaine Ken Peak Scott, I believe. But he is still right in the bubble. Only two points off. And your other two people on the bubble. There's Quentin Moore right there. He is in a must must win situation, and so is Matt Montoya. Back there, Keith Scott only two points ahead. And uh, that's that. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting points battle today. See who will make it into the round of 12 and who won't. Let's go down for the command. Missed the command, but uh, about to get rolling off here for 60 laps around Las Vegas. Let's see who will make it into the round of 12. Caleb Cantwell and Jake Jefferson will lead the field to the green flag. Base card offer. Going to go green here. Caleb Campbell, well, about uh, he's about 20 points behind the cutoff, so uh, he's just gonna finish 20 uh, positions ahead of Geek Scott. Well, yeah, sh whatever. <laughs> Pace cars in. Here we go, coming to the restart zone. The green flag is out here at Las Vegas. Who makes it into the next round? And who wins? Campbell gets a good jump on the restart, not the best jump though. Crafting crotch back there got a pretty good jump. Flying through these corners. Vegas interesting racetrack. Tyler Lyman, he's up here. If I remember correctly, he almost won last time we went to Las Vegas, but the winner last time was Junior Ramos. Jefferson stuck on the outside is not where you want to be. Wait, Campbell leads lap one. Halfway point should be 31 laps in. I believe we're gonna have two pit stops. There's a front, front few are single flying, we're single straining out, but uh, Alex Stewart are gonna go for third. Lyman, right behind that 46 Lyman, pretty good at Las Vegas. I wonder if we can play the right cards this time. Still can't bail leading. Alex Stewart might be looking, uh, almost looked underneath that 92, but 92. Uh, Lyman gonna look underneath Camp Bell. Can he do it on one of these corners? But Stewart's actually gonna do it himself. He's gonna try to pass Lyman. And here's uh, your current points leader by one point. Nick Smith leading over Alex in a row by one point. He is, um, uh, he's uh, locked in, not because of a win, but he just has enough points to make it into the next round. There's his team owner, Roger Ray, who's actually, he, uh, he's got to have a good run if he wants to make it. He is above the cut, but he can still get overtaken. And he's going to get put wide by, put three wide by Quentin Moore. That's a really tight right there. Most made contact. Quentin Moore is in a must-win situation. Don't forget about that. There's last, uh, your winner last time at Las Vegas, Junior Ramos, as we got a two-car breakaway here between the 46 and the 88. Last race's winner, Al Lagasse, your first non-winner in the chase. I mean, you're not, your first non-chaser who, who's gotten a win in the chase, but he's there. Jay Jefferson, he's back on the bottom. He's going to look underneath Lagasse. Might get 
Like, we going three by as Ramos is caught up to these three. It's only a matter of time before the pack does. Luke Rainey, our winningest driver, he's uh, good on points, I believe, should be. As uh, Stewart gets put up high, can Jefferson get there? He will. Campbell's been leading all the laps so far. Jay Jefferson currently the fastest on track. Look out for that 43 car. Good at these mile and a half tracks. This guy's win. This guy's uh, first win of the season at Atlanta. Off uh, fuel strategy, but he did get the pull. He's pretty good at these mile and a half, and he, uh, he feel show it. And here he goes underneath his teammate for the second position. Luke Rainey, his other teammate, gonna fall him through. We got Chasers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right now, and then you got LJ Toledo back there. Here he comes, here comes Jay Jefferson for the lead. On the first straightaway, it looks like he will get it. Jay Jefferson now leads the lap as Jefferson wants. Now we might start to see shuffling though. Luke Rainey is going to want that lead. Pretty soon, probably. Or here that Josh Jefferson might be looking inside of a Rainey pretty soon. Maybe not as we're 10 laps in. Still not entirely sure when pit stops are going to be. I think it's like just, I think it's around 20 laps in. I have a few mileage race. That'd be interesting. Probably, probably not though, I'm not too sure. Jefferson just holding the lead right now. It's only a matter of time before Luke Rainey tries to pass him. <laughs> Scott's up here. That's not what Jay Jefferson wants. That's not what Caleb Campbell wants to see. That is exactly not what Caleb Campbell wants to see. Jay Cooper. It's locked in, uh, into the next round with a win. Although Canto, he could also get eliminated, but, you know, certain things have to happen. And he's running up front. Campbell still getting shuffled down on the outside. Matt Montoya in a must-win situation. In a must-win situation as well. He's there. Back to the leader, Luke Rainey. When's he gonna look? When he, when's he gonna make the move? There you go. I don't think Jay Jefferson wants to see Keek Scott rising through, uh, rising to the front either. He's got to beat him by two positions, or like three positions. Monaco looking to get up front. He gets, he puts LJ Toledo on the outside. Keek Scott gonna look to pass to Monaco, not quite. It's mostly single file right now. Let's take a look at back here, man. Farmer Otz, he started 18th. He shuffled all the way back here now. Shuffled all the way. And TJ's been in the back all day, I'm pretty sure. Legacy's shuffled pretty far back. So is Nick Smith and Roger Ray. Back to your leaders. Monaco up to third. Passes Joshua Sim. Keek Scott up to fourth. Monaco looking for second. Monaco looking for second. Monaco throwing in that, this 43 car. Uh, Alex in a row currently has a fast lap time. Man, Monaco rising. Right now, Keek Scott would make it into the next round. Jefferson wouldn't because Jefferson's not ahead of Keek right now by two positions. Actually, you know what? Actually, no. Because no, Jefferson's led a lot of laps, too. So, you know, Jefferson might be good by default unless Keek Scott wins the race or someone else. Or Clinton Moore or someone else wins. I don't know. You're going, you're going three wide. We're gonna go three wide for second. Jake Hoover trying to get there. Matt Montoya, he's back up there. Johnny Gardner, who finished second last race somehow. Jake Hoover up to second. Monaco got shuffled out to that outside. Ramos gonna put Montoya three wide. Titan Jefferson. 
believe he's led the most laps so far. So I believe we should be having pit stops pretty soon. I believe. Comes Jake Hoover for the lead, though. Jake Hoover looking for that lead. Got his third win of the season at Auto Club. And locked himself into the round 12. And uh, there he is. He's going for the lead. Johnny Gardner right behind him. Gardner, one of the three people who made it in just on points and not on wins. Gardner still looking for the first win of the season. So with Anderson Racing. Actually, no. Wait. Anderson Racing has one. They won with Michael Anderson at Hillside, but it's a, none of their full-time drivers have won, including Julius Anderson, the team owner. And Jefferson's going to get put back on the outside. Campbell's back up here. And he's going to make the move on Gardner. It's Joshua Sim, Alexander Rowe. Right there, Gardner's going to get put, probably stuck on the outside. Hole for the three right there. I don't know if he's going to be able to take it though, because the 89 might try to get there. Not yet. Oh, contact! So there might have been some contact between the 43 and the three right there, but the 43 actually benefited a lot from that because that got him down to the to the bottom. That's good. It's the two Caleb Campo Motorsports cars in, up in front right now, drafting with each other. Catbell needs uh, to lead more than Hoover does right now, though. Hoover's locked in. Jefferson getting around Julius Anderson. Campbell looking to get around that 41. His uh, own car there, but Rowe is going to make the move before he can. It'd be really unfortunate if Caleb Campbell were to get eliminated. In the first round, as uh, Campbell's been strong all season long, but it's just things have not been going right in the couple rounds. Jefferson going for second. Jefferson trying to charge back up already. Anderson pushing him. And try to get to that 41 car. Maybe you can do it. Luke Rainey might be looking inside of Julius Anderson. Doesn't do it. Doesn't do it yet. Here comes Jefferson for the lead. Nobody helps 41. Jefferson back to the point. As uh, we are approaching halfway, and that also probably means we are approaching pit stops. So I wouldn't be surprised if pit stops just happened at halfway. No well, one's coming down pit road yet. Back to the leaders, Jefferson leads another lap, looking to lead the most laps with Clinton Moore, who's in a must-win situation, of course. Like I've said the past, uh, like I've said, I've said that like 50 times already, but yeah, a win is the only way Clinton Moore is going to be able to advance into the next round. And he's going to be looking for one and try to get to that 43 car. He looks like he's going to get put to the outside by Alex Stewart, though. Jay Jefferson leading by like three car lengths, maybe. Junior Ramos up the third. One of your chasers, of course. Everyone has a win, and I thought they were slowing down here. Switch the camera angle. Take a look at this. Quentin Moore going to get put outside now. We got pit stops. Jay Jefferson leads him down pit road. And it looks like he's on the short pitting strategy because he is only one of the few out of like four, three cars to come down pit road this time. Short pitting for the leader is uh, Quentin Moore led a lap. It's good for him, but he's going to need to lead a lot more if he... Uh, uh, you can you can still lead like 40 laps. There's enough time for that. More people come down pit road. Hey, that might be a penalty for Michael Canto. That's not what he needs because he missed the commitment cone. But I don't know. That might that may or may not be a penalty. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it isn't. Back to your leaders. I think Quentin Moore should be coming down this time. He will be. Matt Moss.
Montoya. Aaron Montoya gained a lot of positions. I think that's this ever. I think that's everybody. Yep. It's like everybody. Take a look. See, uh, if the strategy. It's a good strategy. Is short pitting or pitting normally? Let's see. I feel like since this is a halfway, we should be able to make it to the end. Like, this is exactly a halfway. I don't know if Jefferson is going to be able to make it. This might be a fuel mileage race. That would not be good for Jefferson. Not 100% sure. Though, I mean, Jefferson's probably going to lead a, like a ton of laps, so he might still be able to make it in on laps led. Anyway, where is Jefferson right now? I have no idea. See, there's Jefferson right there. As I don't know if he didn't gain or gain, I'm not too sure. He's up to second. Goes around the outside of Matt Montoya. Can he get up to the lead? Nope. Quinn Moore is going to get the lead. Ah, but Jeff Jefferson already going to look low. Might try to bump the 89. Like I said, these two right here, the 89 and the 98, both need wins. They're going to be uh, fighting hard to keep this 43 at bay, I guess. And, uh, there's Ray currently scoring the last position. That's not what Roger Ray wants, but definitely not what Roger Ray wants. Still, these, uh, it's not possible for that 20, for a couple people to get eliminated, like the 29. It's not just going to be between the 43, the 46, the 89, the 98, the 08. It's not just going to be between those few. Michael Canto, he can be eliminated, but he is up in the top five. If you can hold that, then he should be good. Montoya. Montoya. All these people. Have one win so far on three of these guys. Closing in behind are the, is the 20 of Johnny Gardner who made it on points. And Michael Canto with a one win at Road America. It's been a little interesting as we have passed halfway. I said halfway. I'm wondering if Jefferson's going to be able to make it on fuel. I mean, I, I, I'm not 100% sure if, uh, if he's going to be able to make it in on fuel since they, um, the leaders pit halfway. And he pit before halfway. He needs to get to that lead though so he can lead more laps. Quinn Moore, he's uh, can all these points for leading laps. That's exactly what that 89 wants. In fact, if he if he leads the rest of the laps, he should be able to make it in on on points. Actually, if he leads the rest of the laps, because that should be yeah. Actually, you know, maybe not. I think he'd be 10 points short if he led the last the. You think he'd be 10 points short if you led the rest of the way. So, uh, you know, maybe, sure. <laughs> maybe we can get a win on top of that. I don't know. Here comes Matt Montoya for a second. That is exactly what the 89 needs to do. And he will put the 43 on the outside there. Canto's kind of falling off the draft of these guys, but Garner's held on. Garner's right there. Garner, he, he could be eliminated too. Just a, uh, I don't think he will. It's lucky. It's lucky for the run he got at Dover. He wrecked, but still got second. Well, Quentin Moore, it's uh, two people who need wins to make it in in the front right now. I believe uh, next time by will be 20 to go. We are approaching the end of this race. That's really fast.
Gardner might be looking underneath the 98s. Not yet. But I just realized how, how ironic it would be if the Interstate Batteries car won the Energizer Championship. That'd be, uh, that'd be something. Yeah. Interstate Batteries car wins the Energizer Cup. Huh. Oh, Garner looking inside of Matt Montoya. The Jefferson looking inside of Garner. Not, can't quite get there. Now he is. Jefferson trying to get back up to the front. Like I said, I'm not that sure if he can make it in. I mean, I, I'm not under that sure if he can, if he has enough fuel. But I mean, he might be able to make it in just on the amount of laps he's led. Maybe depends on Ke where Keek Scott finishes, of course. He's currently in the 16th position. I don't think Jay Jefferson would make it right now. It's Montoya. Underneath, uh, Jefferson will... Uh, that is if Jefferson can't make it on fuel. If he can make it in on fuel, then he will be good. But if he can't, that might be bad. For the... That might be bad news for the 43 team. It would be good news for the 89 team. And 98 team. Uh... Roger Ray. This is not good for Roger Ray, by the way. He can get eliminated, and he is about to go lap down. As he scored, cor currently scored in the last position, that means he would get no points. That could be very bad for that 29 car. Roger Ray, owner of Roger Racing. His other two cars are uh, Nick Smith, one of his cars. He's going to be in the next round no matter what. And, uh, Michael Canto, he, uh, he's got pretty good chances of making it, but Ray himself has not had the best luck these past races. These guys have caught up. He's about to go a lap down. Inside. I think. Ray gonna try to hang on. I don't know how long he can do that for. Seems like he lost the draft. How long until the Quinn Moore goes inside? Not long. I, I don't know if Ross Ray is going to be able to make it into the next round. That's unfortunate. And that might be the end for his championship hopes. Matt Montoya going for the lead now. Montoya to the point. I believe that's the first time he's been at the point all day. Now we might sort of see some shuffling, because Gardner might be looking to the inside, into the corner. He will barely get there. Gardner looking inside, Gardner looking to lead a lap. And he will come into 10 to go. And Jefferson going three wide for the lead. Wow, Brad Silver, he's there. Joshua Sim there too, Kevin Roach Jr. back into the mix, Jr. Ramos also there. Stapleton not too far behind. I gotta remember a fuel. I still not 100 percent sure if the 43 can make it, but uh, well, let's just hope we got a good battle to the finish without a. Uh, so I I don't even know. I I don't know if he can make it. I don't know if he can't make it. All I know is that caution would change everything. But there are they're catching the poor Adam Lewis now as this pack is now all bunched up. Sim going three wide for the lead. Might not be good if they catch the lap car while going three wide. Might not be good. Might not be good. This could be bad. This could be bad. No, no, they're gonna settle it, I believe. I think they should. Yep, they're gonna settle it before they hit the lap car. Maybe not. Jefferson trying to hang on the outside. At least, at least uh, the four and the 29 aren't necessarily that slow, though. So, I mean, this shouldn't help you guys up too much. Jim Ronald's looking to go. Back to back at Las Vegas. I think one of the first time, one of the first place at Vegas. Ford's gonna catch the draft, and that 43 is just can't get down to the bottom. He's gonna put three wide every chance someone can put him, and Lewis is gonna help the three car to get to the lead. <laughs> Whoa! Well, I think they got loose back there. Someone jumped down pit road. I don't think so. No, no one jumped on pit road. It looks like they got loose and somehow everybody saved it right there. Now Stover gonna look to get underneath the four. Lewis, look at Stapleton. He's there. Stapleton has needed a good run for a long while. 
because I don't think he's ever had a good run. <laughs> okay, he's my. I'm pretty sure he has a couple top tens. As I, what I, I, I checked recently. Everybody who's full time has at least one top ten. Rose leading by almost the miles. We have past ten to go. That is important to note. Quentin Moore, he's in the must win situation. He's trying to get that win. He's gonna try so hard to get to that three car and he might have a chance. Michael Canto, he's looking inside, he's gonna try to block. So what Quentin Moore needs right now is draft. Gotta try to draft that three car. He's trying to go back to back at Vegas. So he's been cost of free so far, that'd be good. That's decent. I believe this would be the fourth caution free race this season, but Quentin Moore is caught up to the back bumper of the three. Can this be a comeback story for the ages? Can Quentin Moore win at Las Vegas and go on to the next round? Can Gene Rollins hang on? Can Ray get his lap back? Hope for caution. Probably not. This time by five laps to go at Las Vegas. Can Quentin Moore do something? Can he pull off a miracle and get around this three car with the help of Roger Ray, perhaps? Here he comes. He's going to run to the inside. He's going to get there. Nose. Here comes Quentin Moore for the lead. Kevin Ulrich Jr. behind him. Ulrich. <laughs> no. Ulrich currently last in points. That would be amazing for him. Did Junior Ross actually piled around the outside? I didn't even notice that. I thought. I was blinded by the seven. Ramos still has the lead. Jay Jefferson, he's charging up to the front, trying to get there. Quentin Moore looking inside again. Can't get there quite yet. It's going to come down to the wire. This is for the 89's championship hopes. And power Jesus. <laughs> Can he do it? Three to go, I think. Yeah, three to go at Vegas. Can Ramos hang on to win again? Or will it be the 89? Here he comes back to the inside. Can he do it this time? No drafting help. Still inside. Can't do it. He's going to need some drafting help. Two laps to go for Quentin Moore. Can he do it somehow? He's going to have to have a miracle happen. The pack is split up. Did the 43 pit? Je Jefferson pit. That is not good. 17 has damage. A lot of people are pitting. I think these guys are going to be good to the end. White flag this time. Can Quinn Moore have one? He can he have one more shot to do it at Vegas. He have one more shot in this corner. Here he comes inside. Looking inside, can't get there quite yet. I don't think it's going to be enough. That's unfortunate for the 89. Well, for the first time this season, Gina Ramos gets the win. He's going to go back to back at Las Vegas. And Quentin Moore so close. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it. That is not good for Jay Jefferson. That is really not good for Jay Jefferson. Jay Jefferson's gonna oh oh they wreck they wreck coming across the line. I saw the seven go around. What happened there? I'm not too sure where Jefferson finishes. Jay Jefferson's gonna finish. Where's Jefferson gonna finish? Thirty first, and while Keith Scott finishes ninth, I don't I don't know if Jefferson made it. He, I, I don't think Jefferson made it. That's not good. <laughs> like I said, uh, I was afraid the fuel strategy was going to mess some things up. And it might have uh, just did. I think Campbell might make it. Actually, no. I, he might not. I don't know if Campbell made it either. He's, he scores 11th right now. Take a quick look at what happened. To, I, I have no idea. Who made it? And I, I don't think I think Ray made it because everyone had to come down pit. Uh, we have a conflict between teammates there coming to the line. Uh, that was a pretty hard hit. Ulrich had to pit, unfortunate. 
I think I saw that 17 had some damage too. And a ton of front end damage. I don't know if he ran into somebody on pit road or not. Oh, check up right there. Oh, the 07. Take a look real quick. I have no idea. I think Geek Scott advances into the next round. I don't think... I don't think... I don't think either Caleb Campbell or Jay Jefferson made it. Yeah, if they did make it, it's it's close. If they did make it, it's close. Uh, Campbell might have made it in on... I think Campbell actually made it in uh, because of all the laps he led. Campbell might have made it. He might have made it. Uh, Ramos is locked in, by the way. he uh, It's not like he was going to get eliminated, though. Quinn Moore he comes up so close, just couldn't have any drafting help behind him. If he did, he could have gone around that three, but he didn't. He comes up short and second. And uh, I, I'm just, I have no idea. I don't think Kenson's going to make it. In fact, the fact that Kenson isn't going to get any points, that might be what saves Jay Jefferson. That might be what saves Jay Jefferson. Might be. There's a chance. Kanto also finishes 41st. That might might be it for Kanto. I, I have no idea. This is going to get interesting. I don't know who made it, because uh, people, Jay Jefferson and some others, couldn't make it to the end. The wrong pit strategy. I don't know. This is con I have no idea who made it, and I have no idea who didn't make it. Let's find out uh, after uh, we take a look at the finishing results real quick. Well, I already showed you them here, but whatever. Here, finishing results. The Vegas 450 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. No caution. Uh, one caution flag, but I was after the race ended. Uh, contact between the 7 and the 9 coming to the flag. You know, Ramos, he's locked into the next round. Quentin Moore led the most laps. Caleb Campo led eight, and I think Campo's going to make it in. I think Campo made it in because he finished, um, wait. I don't, I don't know if he made it in. I, I, I don't know because it's, he's been, hmm. I I really don't know because it's he's been he was 20 points behind and Geek Scott only finished he finished Geek Scott finished two uh, spots ahead of Campbell so Campbell didn't get any points on him but he had eight laps I have no idea I have no idea who made it in who didn't it's gonna be close it's gonna be close like I said. I don't know if Jeremiah Kenson, I don't think Jeremiah Kenson is going to make it because he was, in fact, I'm pretty sure Jeremiah Kenson is what's going to save Jay Jefferson since Kenson was only four points ahead of Jefferson. And I think that might be what saves the 43 from being eliminated. Kanto also might not make it. I'm not 100% sure either because uh, neither of these two are going to get points. Since they're the last two, it's only the top 40 get points, like 40 has to get one point and two points. Yeah. I I don't know. We're going to have to find out. We're going to have to find out. Uh, gotta find. For me, i got to wait. Uh, i got to do all the points. i got to calculate them myself. But, uh... For you, you only have to wait uh, another uh, five seconds. I'll see you for points. Let's take a look. Who made it into the round of 12 and uh, who's going to get eliminated? Alright, so here is who makes it in, who doesn't make it in. Um, uh, Jeremiah Kenson, he's the first person who gets eliminated. Um, just unfortunate. I don't think he'd get past this round, though. He's the uh, first person to get eliminated. Matt Montoya. Uh, it's just second place wasn't enough. If he led some laps, he might have been able to make it, but unfortunately, he's gonna get eliminated. Roger Ray, who's had no luck the past, um, the past three races in the round, and it's just unfortunate to see him get eliminated, but here's something big. 
a tie on the bubble between Michael Canto and, and Caleb Cantwell. And, uh, well, unfortunately for Canto, the way this tie is broken is by wins. Caleb Campo has two wins. Michael Canto only has one, so Michael Canto is going to get eliminated. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. And, yeah, that's how really gets eliminated right there. Michael Canto, Roger Ray, Matt Montoya, and Jeremiah Kenson. I'm going to get eliminated. Actually, hold on, let me do this. Crap, no. <laughs> yep, okay. And that's... That's it for the round of... Of... 16. Your people will get eliminated. Jeremiah Kenson, Matt Montoya, Roger Ray, and Michael Canto. Michael Canto and a tiebreaker, really. Those are the four who get eliminated round one. Now, we move on to the round of 12. Three races still. Yeah, that's that. What surprised me though, Clint Moore actually made it in. And that's... I guess I, mis I miscalculated a bit, and he actually made it in on points, so that's good for Clinton Moore. Because he led the most laps and uh, got second. So yeah, Clinton Moore make made it in. Points are gonna get reset, of course, so uh, let me do this. Dang it. <laughs> Hold on. No. Jeez. Oh, so I'll just do this myself. <laughs> so points are reset for the beginning of the round. That's that. Let me just redo this real quick. That's that. Again, four people eliminated in the first round. Jeremiah Kenson, Matt Montoya, Roger Ray, and Michael Canto. Both Ray and Canto are expecting to make it past the round. I got both of those. Were, both of them were going to get... We're going to advance. But yeah. Both Caleb Campbell and Caleb Campbell advances in on a tiebreaker, and Jay Jefferson gonna make it in on points because uh, Ryan Kenson and Michael Canto basically. If Canto finished one position higher, he would have been in, but he uh, got damage. He uh, made some contact with Ryan Kenson trying to get him to pit road and couldn't make up that one position, and that's. Well, the battle for the championship go goes on, entering the round of the round of twelve to see in the next three races. See who will make it into the next round, the round of eight. I'm gonna be tight as the points are reset once again. Well, it's gonna it's definitely gonna be an interesting round because the first race we go. First track we go to is Ricky Raceway. <sighs> yep, Super Speedway. I'll see you next time for the Ricky 500 at Ricky Raceway. Let's see what happens then.